Hi folks and welcome to a, another Random Platypus review. This time I'm going to be looking at a couple of models from Mantic which I picked up from their bargain bin at Salute 2019. Um, they kind of traverse two, the two different, well I say two different, they've actually got more. They've got modern stuff as well for like Walking Dead. But So their fantasy setting and their sci-fi setting. So for the sci-fi setting, I shall open this one up first. It's actually the the uh, Bane on grab bike. So you get the two bits of the grab bike, which I've got to kind of find a way of... Oh, they just slot together like that. It's quite nice, actually. Quite a nice little connection. You're not going to be able to see that. Uh, and then the body with the handlebars sits on top. That's going to need a little bit of work to get that to fit into the... Perhaps I haven't pushed that in far enough. I don't know, I'll have to trim it up, see if that fits in a bit better then. But as you can see, it's starting to take place already. And then the head just pops in like that. And so you have a Bane, Bane there, character, flying on a jet bike, which is kind of cool. I thought I'd get that. I think it was something crazy, like a quid, um, which to me is just, you can't, you can't pass that up, can you? Really nice jet bike. I could quite easily change the head, so you could quite easily become... I don't know, you know, get a, maybe a dark elder head, stick that on there. So you've got a sort of very nice, different looking um, jet bike, or equally a human head, and have that as a flyer for some sort of force of humans. Um, but yeah, that's you know, for a bargain. It was. I say it was either a quid or two quid. I can't really remember now, but it was in the bargain bin. So you, I thought I couldn't pass up on that. But the um, the detail on it. I don't know if this camera. Oh yeah, it's so. It's their kind of resiny material, um, but the detail is really quite nice. The bike's nice. It's not all. It's why it's wonky. So not everything is exactly as it should be. So I'm not going to trim it up and glue it just yet. But I really like the fact that his cloak's a bit rackety. But it's not a surprise when you look from the top down. When that cloak isn't streaming out of the back, they could quite easily get caught in the engine. Somebody should really have a go that in for poor health and safety standards. Luckily I don't think it's the intake as such. It might just get burnt up. He might get very warm back if he's not careful. So that's that one. Just put that quickly back in the bag. I will be doing the comparison shots with these um, so you'll see them at the end. Obviously there'll be two different lineups for them because one's fantasy and one's sci-fi. Now this one isn't in as great condition, which is probably why it was in the bargain thing. But for me that's not an issue because I'm a bit like what's the right word? I'll I'll take on a bit of a broken mini and fix it up. Um, the main thing that's wrong that I can find is the the blade has come off the sword. But I've got plenty of ways of fixing that. It's a very narrow connection at the top. But that's not going to be a huge issue to sort out, even if I have to swap the hand out and give him a new sword. That's probably going to be the easiest solution, if I'm honest. Uh, and the second part is a an arm with a shield, which I've successfully just thrown on the floor. So just pop that there for a second whilst I reach down. So yeah, it's the arm shield, and that slots into here quite nicely to give you a mini that's kind of leaning forward with the shield. Now, I picked him up because I really like the character of this mini. It's um, There's a lot of detail to it that makes it really, really nice. Um, I don't know if I can get... Can you get? Let me like, come on, come on, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. There you go. The detail on that face, superb, really nice expression. And and as a knight figure, actually, is quite cool. So it would suit being a, a paladin or some sort of knight. I believe this is from like probably the the dungeon saga range because it's come with that base. So I say, I'm probably going to switch the hand out. I might even look to see if I can find 
a, a different arm to put on for the shield because the shield's quite stylized. Nothing wrong with it. Um, just for me, I'd want him to be a bit plainer so I can use him um, as a more sort of stereotypical medieval knight rather than an over fantasized one. Uh, and that's the base that it came with. Which again, I may or may not use because I might use him in the Saga Force that I'm going to be doing for Santa. Uh, um, the Age of Magic. So he might get a little bit of conversion work just to bring him into what I want to do with that force, really. But yeah, was, again, he was, I think he was about a quid. Again, I apologise for the background noise. He was a quid, um, so I should probably... I'm not going to really overly mind chopping him up a little bit. It's one of the reasons why I got him. Give him a new weapon, new shield, and see where he's at the end of that. Again, I'll do a, a comparison shot with him um, with some other fantasy models so you can see how he fits. But you, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button and um, come and join us for the chat over in the forum. Maybe join one of our paint-alongs. We've got a few of those just kicking off at the moment. Quite open to interpretation so you, you can more or less paint anything you want. The whole idea is we just encourage each other to get through those like painting blocks and project blocks and gaming blocks. Give each other a bit of uh, encouragement. Anyway, catch you later guys. Onwards and upwards. See you next time. Bye-bye now.